This week, join us as we talk about the one desire of Christ. This week, we are celebrating the solemnity of Corpus Christi, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus. And as we know that as Catholics, the belief in the Eucharist is central to our faith. I do believe that we could say that the one desire of Christ was to establish the Eucharist. Remember that Jesus said, unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no life in you. That doesn't mean that our brothers and sisters who are not Catholic do not have the Holy Spirit or that we're not family, but I do believe that the one desire of Christ was to bring us into oneness with the Father, and the Eucharist does that for us. It is the closest that we can come to God on this side of the veil. In the Gospel today in Mark, we see that they say, where do you want us to go and prepare the Passover for you? And Jesus is able to give them intimate details. There's gonna be a man, go to him, ask him this question, and then he will show you this upper room. It's as if Jesus had been seeing visions of this moment for his entire life. Our Lord Jesus is present in every tabernacle in every Catholic church throughout the world. Body, blood, soul, and divinity. When you and I come to Mass and we say amen to the host that is held up to us, we are saying amen that yes, I am a part of the body of Christ and I believe that to be the body, blood, soul, and divinity of our Lord Jesus. The Eucharist is a precious gift. Never let go of it. Never lose sight of the precious nature of the Eucharist. Hold fast to our Lord Jesus. It's the great gift that brings us into oneness with God.